and I hope you're doing well and you're ready for the weekly download. Again, my name is Mitchell Doomlau, and I want to thank you for coming in today and watching me. Again, this is the weekly download. My name is Mitchell Doomlau, and today we're going to show you how to clone your voice with Play.ht. So I want to clone my voice today using this AI tool called Play.ht, which you can go online to. It's Play.ht, and what happens is that you create a 15-minute audio file using just your voice. I used my voice from a podcast that I did all by myself. And so what I did is that I just had 15 minutes of uninterrupted audio that I had as a WAV file or an MP3. I, WAV is really good because it's uncompressed in a very quiet location so there's no background noise. And then I uploaded it to play.ht. And then from there, it will clone your voice in two to three days. Actually, it took about two days for me. And then from there, you can actually use your voice for text to speech. So you can type in any word that you want, any sentence, any paragraphs, and you can actually have your voice clone speak for you. And it's very helpful because let's say I don't want to do a video voiceover. I'd rather just use a paragraph or type in a paragraph. And so this tool will use my voice as a clone and talk as my clone. And what's great about that is that it will never mess up on the script itself or try to find, figure out what to say next like I'm saying right now. Anyways, here is a whole look on using Play HT. Let me just share my screen right here, right now. This is Play HT. And so um, let's go, this is the dashboard, but let's just go from the actual website itself. So I've tried a lot of different types of uh, voice cloning websites. There's a lot out there from Resemble AI and a whole bunch more. I found Play.ht to be the best. It had the best fidelity when it came to my voice. It actually trained the model with more of my voice. A lot of other platforms would ask for five minutes, one second, I mean, one minute, 30 seconds of your, uh, of your audio, but it doesn't give the machine learning or the machine enough time to train on your voice. And so it doesn't give a really great clone. So I'm going to go to my studio. I'm already logged in. And so if you want to create a new voice clone, you go to voice cloning and then you create a new voice clone. And then from here you use the high fidelity. Now you can just do a 30 second instant audio kind of voice clone, it's just 30 seconds of your voice, but it isn't great because what happens is, is that the machine doesn't have enough information or data or your voice to train on, okay? You just need a lot more data for machines in order for them to be able to output the best um, result. So I go on high fidelity, I entered my name, and this is when I upload a, um, an audio file. So I actually, sorry, it was upload 30 minutes of, of audio. And so you should have if, you have, if you don't have 30 minutes of audio, maybe you could just use the 30 second instant audio um, option. But I had 30 minutes of audio because I did a podcast. I do all my podcasts and I have a lot of these videos and I stitched them together. So let's say you're a YouTuber or a vlogger or a creator and you do these type of vlogging um, you know, videos, you can just go into Adobe Premiere or Audition or GarageBand, whatever audio software you use to edit audio, and then you can just chop up your voice in 30 minutes. Although it's better if you have a very consistent, um, you know, uh, voice recording. So not like one of you outside and one of you in a studio and then one of you in a crowded room. It's best to have a consistent 30 minutes of the same room because then when it um, clones your voice, it's going to spit back or output that consistent audio unless you, because if you had noise in the background, it's going to get trained on that type of noise and sound. Okay. So I uploaded it all, all right here. There's no multiple speakers in this recording. I confirm that I have all the rights for this audio because it's my voice. And then I will create, right? I already created this, but for you, you would have to create. Now, when I did this, it was for free. I think I might have been part of the beta group. I think it's, uh, I think it costs, I think $100 or more or whatnot for people out there right now. But I got it for free and I pay for the premium um, monthly subscription. Anyways, from here, you then go to create a new file. And then I'm going to go to generative. And then here, I can start typing in some text. But first, I can choose my clone voice. 
I'm going to go to play HT.1.0 because I cloned it during 1.0. And choose my voice right here. You can also choose the speeds, right? It can be really fast, super slow. And then I'll apply this to all paragraphs. And then now I'm just going to type in, hi there, world. My name is Mitchell, and this is my my voice clone I'm doing this live and I hope you like the w way I sound all right I'll press the play button and now it's going to generate a hi there world my name is Mitchell yeah. and this is my voice clone I'm doing this live and I hope you like the way I sound so there's a voice clone now if you didn't like that output we generate and then now it's going to regenerate uh, another output, another result. And this is a really good way for you to get better results because it trains the model that you don't like what it did previously, so it's going to do better next time. Hi there, world. My name is Mitchell, and this is my voice clone. I'm doing this live, and I hope you like the way I sound. If I don't like that, I'll regenerate again. Now, I've done this with another voice as well for a client, and what I do is that I use periods and commas and maybe long paragraphs and dot, dot, dot and different ways to create intonation in my voices and also periods and stops and pauses. So it's not perfect, but it's a really great way for you to clone your voice and use it for different applications. Hi there, world. My name is Mitchell, and this is my voice clone. I'm doing this live, and I hope you like the way I sound. Ah, sounds okay. Let's do one more. Uh, regeneration of my voice and see how it sounds. So again, the applications for this is that let's say that you have a long blog post and you just want to do a voice clone and you don't want to sit there for 30 minutes reading the, um, the, the, the paragraph and you know editing it in post, you can just have your voice clone read it for you. Hi there world, my name is Mitchell and this is my voice clone. I'm doing this live and I hope you like the way I sound. So that's my voice clone. Again, it's, it's not perfect, but I actually have another voice clone from another voice. This is not a computer voice. This is someone else's voice. And what I did is, again, I took um, an actor's voice from a shoot I did, 30 minutes of, um, of uh, a voice that was in the same room, no um, noise behind it. I did some audio editing, so I took out the slated parts and, you know, ums and coughs and awkward moments in between. So let's see how it sounds. This is with another voice clone using a female actor's or an actress's voice. And it's great because I've been using this for the past month now and I've generated some pretty good voice clones and some paragraphs that have really confused, if not uh, convinced a lot of people that we hire, rehired this person to reread the script. And it's awesome because you can use this so for so many different applications to prevent reshoots, um, again, to um, have a lot of... Hi there, world. My name is Mitchell, and this is my voice clone. I'm doing this live, and I hope you like the way I sound. And that was a voice clone of somebody else. So anyways, that's a really easy way for you to clone your voice. You use 30 minutes of un, you know, of, of, great, of, of audio that is clear, that's in a quiet place, doesn't have any background noise, and has no like long spaces and gaps of silence in between and hopefully you like that i honestly love this type of technology just because the way that it's evolved during the past couple months have gotten to a point where it's hard for people to tell if it's a robot ai voice or if it's a real voice so hopefully this was helpful this is for all the video creators out there who are using ai tools now to help you with your video creation and this is a really awesome tool that is going to be prevalent in the future when it comes to a lot of content creation that doesn't require you to spend a lot of time doing voiceovers or reshoots or other voice applications. So hopefully this was helpful to get, um, helpful for you. Again, my name is Mitchell Dumla. This is the weekly download. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share this with anyone you think would find this helpful. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button below for notifications. If you have any questions or want me to talk about anything else on these weekly, po weekly live streams, please leave a comment below or email me at mitchell at videocontentschool.com.